All right, this is lesson five of Ready Classroom Mathematics on subtracting whole numbers. And in this lesson, we're going to be using strategies to subtract. This is session two. Uh, students, you should have your math book. If I write it, you should write it. This is page 75. So make sure you turn to page 75 and we will get started. Mr. Diaz travels 4,002 miles for work in April. He travels 2,153 miles in May. How many more miles does Mr. Diaz travel in April than in May? Use any strategy to subtract. Okay, so our question here is what is this problem about? And this problem is about um, the amount of miles Mr. Diaz is traveling for work. So we'll underline for work. What information is important? Well, 4,002 miles is important for last month, and 2,153 miles in May is also important. And then we also have how many more. That is also very important because that tells us that this is going to be a subtraction problem. And then uh, what am I trying to find out? We're trying to find out how many more miles does Mr. Diaz travel in April than May. And our model here, it says that we can use any strategy to subtract. So if you prefer a strategy different than what I'm using, then you may go ahead and use that. But I'm going to use the traditional subtraction method. So I'm going to write my biggest number on top. And notice how I'm making sure that I'm spacing these numbers out. I can almost fit my entire finger between all of these numbers. When you space numbers out like this, it helps you make sure that they stay lined up with each other. And then I'm subtracting 2,153 miles. If I have two pins, can I take three pins? No, there's not enough pins there. So I have to regroup. So if there's nothing here, can I regroup from it? No. If there's nothing here, can I regroup from that? Well, no. So I have to go all the way to the four to be able to regroup. So the four becomes a three, and this zero becomes a 10. But does that help me over here at the 2? No. So this 10 becomes a 9, and this 0 becomes a 10. But does that help me over here with the 2? Nope. But the 2 can regroup from the 10, and then the 2 becomes a 12. So we have lots of regrouping in this number. Now can we do 12 minus 3? Yes, we can. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 1 is 8. 3 minus 2 is 1. Don't forget your comma. And then this says miles up here. So it's 1,849 miles. Okay, go ahead and turn to page 76. All right, on page 76 here. Okay, this is still giving us the same problem. My screen keeps messing up here. This is still giving us the same problem, but right here it's showing us how we have to regroup across the way to equal 12 in that ones place. So first we regrouped from the thousands to the hundreds, so it became 3 and 10. Then we regrouped from the hundreds to the tens. Then we regrouped from the tens to the ones. And then it gives us on the chart that it became 12 ones, and that is how we came up with our answer. You don't need to write anything on page 76. And so now we're looking at page 77. This is another model here to show us how we're regrouping. 
So first it shows that we're regrouping the thousands to the hundreds. Then it shows us regrouping the hundreds to the tens. And then it shows us regrouping from the tens to the ones. You do not need to answer this. How is regrouping thousands shown in the problem? It's shown by marking out the three and regrouping one of it to the hundreds, which is 10 of those. Why is the 10 crossed out in the 100 column? Well, does having a 10 here in the 100 column help me solve a problem that I need to solve in the ones place? No. So I need to make it over until I can help out in that ones place. Why are 12 ones shown in the ones column? Because when I regroup from the tens, I add 10 to it, and it becomes 12. And you do not need to write anything on this page. So now you're going to go to page 78 in your book. Okay. On page 78, it says, find the difference between... 8,091 and 3,467. Show your work. So you are just going to write these numbers, making sure you space them out. Okay, there you go. 1 minus 7, I can't do that. So I'm going to regroup. This becomes 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 8 minus 6 is 2. Can I do this? The 0 minus 4? No. So the 8 becomes a 7 and the 0 becomes a 10. But now I can. 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 3 is 4. And there's no label in this one so we don't have to label it. Down here, number 8. There are 11,408 fans at the hockey game and 9,617 fans at the basketball game. How many more fans are at the hockey game than are at the basketball game? Show your work. So we're talking about fans at a hockey game. What information is important? 11,408 and 9,617 fans. And then this right here, how many more? Because that tells me I need to subtract. What is my question? How many man more fans are at the hockey game that are at the basketball game? And then show your work, but it doesn't say how. So I'm going to put the bigger number on top. The smaller number on the bottom, eight minus seven is one, zero minus one, we cannot do that, so I have to regroup. 10 minus one is nine, three minus six, I can't do that. 13 minus 6 is 7, 0 minus 9, I can't do that, 10 minus 9, 1. So your answer is 1,791 fans. All right, last one down here. The last time we had one of these, I showed you how to solve it the normal way. This time I'm going to show you how to solve this by plugging in a number. So I'm going to start with plugging in the number 3 and see if that's correct. Okay, 6 minus 5 is 1, 9 minus 1 is 8, 0 minus 3, can't do that, can't do that, 6, 10, 9, 10, so 10 minus 3 is 7, oh, look, I have a 3 in the hundreds and I've got a 7 here, so we know it can't be 3. Okay, now let's do the 6, 70,000. 96 minus 2,615. 6 minus 5 is 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. I can't do that. 
So I get a 6, a 10, 9, 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. Is that going to work? Nope, because there's a 3 here, and this is a 4, so that's not going to work. Okay, I need a little bit more room, so I'm going to come up here. 70,096. This time I'm going to use the... Mm, I'm going to use the 7. Okay. 6 minus 5 is 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. Regroup this. Ten minus seven is three. Can we keep going? Yes. Okay. Nine minus two is seven. Six with nothing is six. So sixty-seven thousand three hundred eighty-one. Is that what I have here? Yes. That means that seven, which is C, is my answer. All right. Now I want you to on your own solve pages seventy-nine. And you're also going to solve page 80. And after you solve these pages, I want you to have a family member check your work to see how you did. That is all for today's lesson. I will see you for session three.